Noah up next just won the MCS tournament for Thanksgiving and he did an amazing job. Now what propelled him to this win was solid defense, which I'll get to in another video, but a very consistent, simple offense that really minimized the possibility of mistakes and really just put the pressure on his opponents. The scheme Noah ran was out of the Patriots playbook. He was running trips tight end and a combination of halfback base, inside zone, and a very deep crossing route. I am of course talking about the crossing route of PA counter go. I want to start this mini scheme off by saying that you should run the ball as often as you can. Get a good run back, get, get a running back with a lot of speed preferably. Uh, depending on your theme team, that might be Cardano Patterson, which it is for me. Uh, but just pretty much any running back, you can get Derrick Henry if you really want to fall forward and get a lot of yards trucking. If you want more of a faster guy, you can get Elvin Kamara. There is a ton of stuff out there for you, just find the running back that suits your style. Inside zone is one of the running plays, and then he also used uh, 45 quick base. I'm gonna put one of these in my audibles, which 45 quick base is, so I'm just gonna call it inside zone. And depending on what we see on the field, we can choose either one. Basically, what is our opponent setting up for? If our opponent is in a defense to kind of shoot the inside zone, which is gonna look something like that, I'm gonna run something like the... Uh, 45 quick base because then this is going to do a better job of picking up the user and just kind of getting leverage to the left side of the field so you can see me i'm going to try to squeeze through that hole and depending on if i have good stick or not i'm going to get yards so i'm going to do this one more time uh, i'm just going to snap this ball this is going to be inside zone and you just see depending on how they're lining up we're going to have a better shot with one or the other this really just comes down to experience you have to run this play online against people and just see what works against different fronts so i'm going to try this a couple of times with both runs and we'll just see uh we'll just try to get that block we didn't right there but you can see how everybody on the left side of the field just got pancaked uh, and if we get that block in time uh, then we can try to get out of there. You can see me really just being patient behind the line of scrimmage and really reading it. What type of personnel is important for this? Well, you want a pretty fast right guard. This Ford guy right here, he looks a little bit too slow for my liking. If you run want to uh, run that base, it is important that the guy has some speed to get out there to connect with his blocks. But as you can see, we're just getting consistent yards. And that's the first thing that you want to force your opponent to respect the run game. So then we can build the passing game out of it. Historically, one of the easiest routes to complete has been the crossing route. A couple of years ago, they added the feature zone drops to take care of crossing routes. But there are still some routes they can get over. And this is now where things become really interesting. This PA counter go crossing route does an amazing job of getting completions further than 30 yards down the field. And since the latest patch, zones have kind of been changed to play more towards the middle of the field because they wanted to take away uh, one play touchdowns against cover three especially, which makes it an even easier job to complete this crossing route deep down the field. This is how the play PA counter go looks on the field and it is important that you run this with the trips to the short side of the field. Now you might say that this sounds stupid because why would you do that? Generally it is agreed upon that more space uh, is better for trip side ends. So you would generally want to have the trip to the wide side. Well, for this, we really need the space to get the crossing route open. For this, we're just going to put Cole Beasley on a flat route, uh, Diggs on an in route. We're going to put our guy Knox on a delay fade. This is important. And what we want to make sure is that we uh, double team the furthest outside rusher. So this is going to be Higgs. And I'm going to snap this ball. You will see that the uh, delay fade instantly releases. It's kind of like a streak and we can complete that deep crossing route. Now, as you can see, we didn't get our feet in, uh, but I will kind of uh, go into instant replay and show you how far down the field this was. So we're at the 40 yard line, which is 10 yards to the 50 yard line, and then adding on from that. So we're gonna uh, kind of snap the ball. Let's just go ahead, boom. We're gonna throw this ball. And if you can see, uh, where is he going to catch this ball? Ideally, he would catch it around the uh, 25 yard line. So that means 25 yards to the 50 yard line and then 10 extra yards from there to the 40. So you can see this is a 35 yard completion. Now we're gonna do this again because I really wanna hammer this point home. Double team this Hicks guy so that he gets picked up properly. Well, outside of the pocket, he gets bumped a little bit, that's fine. And now you can see we get our feet in this time. And once again, it's just about that uh, 35 yard range. Now you might think, well, that's not that impressive. We know routes that go deeper down the field, but here's the thing. You need to combine it with the running attack. Like this 45 quick base, you can see how easy it is for me to get a lot of yards. And then once they start playing the run, we can just run this deep uh, crossing route play. So we're going to snap the ball just like this. Going to get outside of the pocket just like that. And you can see we just get this 
easy deep completion down the field that's 40 yards right now once again shout out to noah up next i've been talking with him for a little while i'm working for an esports organization that he's a part of we've seen him time and time just pull stuff out of his bag and that's impressive at this high level these guys know everything and even then noah had the little wrinkles he won the game he won the tournament shout out to him hope you guys enjoyed this subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm out peace